before I get going on this, I just want to announce that this week is going to be a little different. The next two solo talks are actually previous blogs that we wrote for Facebook, before we had the idea to record them and then make them part of our episode schedule. So this isn't entirely new content, but we thought it was a bit strange that we never went back to record those earlier ones. This was posted before the first episode was uploaded, so when I say things like we're going to play this, we obviously already have, and you can find those episodes on our channel. But anyways, here's my first blog, The Art of Simplicity in Just Cause 3. It's almost inevitable that when creating any piece of art or entertainment, it will become more complex than when the creators first set out on the journey of making it. And in entertainment, sometimes people expect a certain amount of complexity. So much so to the point that they see something simpler as unappealing. But simpler entertainment value is brilliant in its own way. For our first game, as you may know from watching our preview video, we will be playing Just Cause 3, which is a game about explosions. And that's really as deep as this game gets. From what I understand, there was a decent amount of hype for this game around release, and that leads me to believe it was overhyped. People on the internet like to compare Just Cause 3 to GTA 5, as they do with all open-world third-person shooter games. But even though the camera angle is similar, it's like comparing apples to oranges. GTA 5 is a fine game in its own right, but there was definitely a larger focus on the story and I think that really resonated with a lot of people. The game, as has been described before, is like an exciting summer action movie from start to finish. And that's fine. Story can be a fine element to a game. In Just Cause 3, the story is mildly entertaining at best. But the game knows this about itself. The tone is evident from the very first mission which has you standing on top of an airplane shooting a rocket launcher at SAM sites. In Just Cause's case, the focus of the game is more on the game, and what specific strengths it has had and has made it successful in the past. The main element being that it's generally fun to watch explosions if the cause is just. This style of game isn't incredibly complex. It's not some sophisticated puzzle game. The objective is to blow up everything that you can. And isn't that really the dream scenario for any art? Creating something that is so simple yet so entertaining and or memorable. In animation, you can equate this to Mickey Mouse. Whenever you see one circle with two others in the top half, you instantly think of that character. And it's such a relatively simple design. In Just Cause, you fly around and blow stuff up. You can use your grapple hook to help you fly around or damage things, but that's about it. Like I said before, there is a story, but uh, you probably don't play Just Cause for the story. The story is more or less context for why you're blowing stuff up. I assume people that dislike Just Cause 3 fail to understand that it's not trying to be the next big thing. It's just trying to be entertaining. Some people might have been expecting another GTA game, and others were angry that it was different from the previous installment, but at the end of the day, it isn't meant to change the way you think about things very deeply. It's just meant to give pure entertainment. There isn't a larger overarching theme here, it's just that it's fun to make explosions and use Rico's grapple to manipulate objects and fling vehicles around. Everything feels good, but it's not difficult to understand. Currently it has a 71% rating on Steam, and I'm forced to assume it's because some people can't enjoy a simple explosion fest. If you buy it on sale, you won't be disappointed. Just don't be expecting anything too in-depth. This is a game about explosions, and that's it. Mm -hmm.